Hi guys, how you doing? This is Rosa from Rosa's Resources, um, also known as Sharon. That's my real name. They both are. Anywho. Anyway, how you guys doing? I hope you guys keeping up in this very difficult time. Um, something I just really wanted to come and talk to you real quickly about is my journals that I'm writing now. This is my nail journal because um, I'm a hairstylist by trade. Let me show you. So this one is about uh, maybe 60 pages and you could just write your thoughts down in there. But uh, some of my journal have different inspirational. Uh, this was actually my first, first journal. I started uh, writing journals maybe about, mm, maybe about four months ago. <laughs> yeah. You know, like after you come out of trauma, guys, God give you gifts. If you silence and you pray and you listen to his voice, he will tell you exactly what to do. So I started making this journal. I'm very proud of it. It was my first, 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 first journal. I did all the illustrations uh, myself. And again, there's just like a notebook on the inside. Plain. Okay. This was my first one. But now I go into to more details. Uh, my journals have a... Uh, like a prior, like a prayer interior. Um, they have like meal plans. You know, you could plan out the days of the week, plan out your, like if you're a person that exercise um, or if you have any dreams, like different books have different things. So you could go on Amazon and you could look and see what serve you best. But I wanted to come on here to talk to you guys because I actually just finished sit down because, you know, um, I really started doing a journal as well because you hear everybody say journal, journal, journal. I really did not care about journal. I really didn't. But as you start writing down your thoughts and going back, you know, you date it, you go back and you look over your journal, you have something to reference to, like whatever trauma you're going through or whatever life experience you're going through. It don't even have to be trauma. And you go back and you look at it and you could be a little more clear. You could see the patterns. Um, you could see what you need to correct. You could see your journey. You could see what changed. Um, and you could see your growth as well. You know, so that is one of the reasons uh, why you should start journaling, guys. Also, um, journaling let me see if i can show you guys real quick not to tell you about my business but i was trying to figure out my uh where i'm trying to figure out my financial life that's another thing you could journal about and i'm like what is going on let me show you okay no this is not it oh my goodness uh where is it i just finished doing it Shouldn't be so hard to find. Y'all see me in real time right now. Real, real time. I think it's on the back. Oh, my God. Okay. Look. You know? So you write down one side. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is real, real time. Real things going on here. Okay. I just sat down to make this video. So I wanted to figure out my uh, bills for this month. And uh, like the money coming in for this month, so I wrote it down. Um, half side, you want to put like your entire month of like income, and then on the other side, your bills. Um, make sure you write them out clearly, and then you'll see. This is how you see like what you have for savings, what you have for food, what you have to for vacation, whatever you know. So you gotta write it down, guys. I have so much journals all over the place. Now, that is just one of them. But after a while, you're just going to want to write. You're just going to want to write it down. And um, again, it don't only have to be you writing about your, uh, your, your trauma. You could also do uh, um, affirmations, um, make little notes to yourself, tracking, so many things you could do, you know. But you have to put it on paper. When you put it on paper, you could see it clearly. Um, and you just have like a fresh thought. Like I said, guys, I always hear people talking about journaling and I thought it was a bunch of crap and it's a lie because when you go back in, you're going to see your journey. Now, what I like to do is, um, I, I stick it off. I stick off like, uh, things that I accomplished. I wish I could show you all my journals now that I have. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys are journaling, let me know. 
you know, put it in the comment. Let me know if you guys are journaling. Is something, is it a habit for you? Are you telling your children as well to journal? I think it's good for children to journal no matter. I think like starting from five because, and don't go and read their journal either. Let them have their private time. But it's really, really good because with the world being so corrupted and everybody is so like emotionally uh, stagnant, it's good to get those emotions down on paper because, you know, it's not all the time you want to tell your friends or your family things. Definitely you want to take to take it to God and you want to write it down in a journal. Okay, some this is a, a paperback journal that I have, but um, you also have the hard copy journals as well. I haven't got into the hard copy yet because that one is like 200 pages or more. I, I haven't got into that yet, but I will soon. But guys, um, let me know if, if it's something you guys... Uh, uh, got into the habit of doing uh, males definitely journaling for male is a big thing yeah they need it badly because you know men they don't express themselves I didn't say oh man some men are very expressive but it's good for them to also write things down write it out get it out get it out get it out of your soul you feel me so if you guys would like to support my journal please go to Amazon backslash Sharon Walker journal uh, choose from trigger journal um, oh my God, the, the journal that I just put up, it's not up yet. Uh, Amazon have to clear it. It says, oh my God, mom is a narc. That one is just going to be so beautiful. Um, oh, that one is, um, like that journal, that particular journal, mom is a narc. It's like on the inside, on the interior, it's like act of kindness. You know, like if you do something kind for someone or let's just keep it to your mom, whatever you do nice for her, you could always stick it off. Even though she's a, a narc, that don't mean you have to treat your mom badly. You know what I mean? It's still your mom at the end of the day. I know they say cut your family off, but some people just are not ready for that. You know what I mean? So eh, act of kindness, you know, now you see it because with the covert narcissists, especially uh, they know how to keep it on the wraps for so long. You might be in a, a, a family or a intimate relationship for so long and you never know this person is a narcissist because they know how to conceal it very well. You know, we always have to talk about them. So once the shock is over and you find out that your mom is a narc or your dad is a narc or your husband is a narc or whoever is a narc, even your children, honey, let's not even stop that. Um, you just do what you can with the information. Try to heal and be better with self. And be very alert. Ask the Holy Spirit to talk to you. Talk to your soul. And you watch. You're going to always, always, always know the narcissist when they come around you. Because you're going to feel it right here in your gut. Alright? Some people feel it all over in their energy field. But I always feel it in my gut. Whenever they come around me, it's like these people drain your energy. It's they're so automatic. You know what I mean? All you're going to do is watch them. Don't give them your energy. Alright, guys? Um, Amazon backslash Sharon Walker Journal. They price reasonably. Um, you guys can support me. It's so amazing. And if you guys also would like to start writing your journal yourself, you could do a Zoom and I can show you how to do that as well. Uh, my website is rosesresources.biz. You guys have an amazing day. Remember to get it out on paper. Once you put one, if, if it's something that you're unclear about, go ahead and make your brackets, whatever brackets you have to make, whatever you're trying to sort out. Put it on paper. I tell you, you're not you're not gonna be sorry that you did it. It's uh, unclear thoughts. Put it on paper, and you're gonna be amazed. As a matter of fact, when you put it on paper, um, I know you're gonna think it's crazy, but when you put it on paper, it brings life to the situation. It's also another form of praying, guys. Okay. Alrighty then. So that's my spiel. I see you guys later. Please leave a comment, like, and share. Thank you.